Ladies and gentlemen, we're rubbing it up again in Phoenix tonight, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit today. I'm out on the road. I want to talk to you a little bit today about ministry and business. Uh, I'm an ordained minister, as many of you know. I'm ordained through Randy Dean Ministries, which is, he's an incredible uh, spiritual father and mentor to me. I've been connected with him for a long time, and I've, I've learned a lot. I'm building things on his platform. And then I'm also a professional network marketer amongst being a business owner and a lot of things that I've done in my life. Really, entrepreneur is kind of the word that you'd use to describe that. Even the way that we expand the kingdom is entrepreneurial. Uh, you know, it's uh, <clears throat> networking is something that Jesus did to expand the kingdom. Uh, he invested highly in 12 individuals and then uh, sent them out to invest in other people. And uh, the chain keeps going on. And, uh, I'm, I'm a Christ follower today as a result of that. And, and some of you are too, as a result of that network just growing and growing and growing. And it's 2,000 years later, which is pretty incredible. I wanted to talk to you about ministry in the marketplace and uh, being a minister and a business person. First of all, if you are a Christ follower, you are a minister. It's not a special title about being an ordained. I mean, I'm an ordained pastor. There's purposes and responsibilities and leadership and all that. And really what it is is to equip the saints for the work of the ministry, uh, releasing healing and, and deliverance to individuals through my hands is one thing. But equipping the saints for the work of the ministry is a whole nother thing. And that means that when you're out and about, when you're in the marketplace, when you're at work, when you're at the gas station, when you're at the grocery store, when you're at the library, when you're at the laundromat, when you're at the mall and God needs some stuff done, well, then you're just the person to do it. So I just want to encourage you that <clears throat> um, ministry is not contained in the four walls of the church. And as a matter of fact, business and ministry should be combined, always should be combined. We shouldn't compartmentalize our life. We don't have this area and that area. It's not, I'm spiritual here and secular there. That's just not reality. We're whole beings, spirit, <clears throat> soul, and body all the time, everywhere. And so I just want to encourage you when you're out building your businesses, when you're out in your careers, when you're out doing the things that you do, uh, just you, you can seamlessly combine ministry, uh, expanding the kingdom, and the, and the work that you do, whatever work that is. So uh, just uh, ex excited to, to be combining that. It's incredible. Uh, I, I, like I said, I'll be talking about uh, uh, some testimonies and things that happen while we're doing this stuff coming up in some of these uh, 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 installments of uh, Rev It Up. So uh, until then, uh, God bless you all. Uh, combine your life as your ministry. Live your life with Jesus and, uh, and spread, the, spread the kingdom and the good news. So uh, look me up at t-rev.org. We've got an incredible event coming up tomorrow morning, one coming up tonight. It's kind of event to event to event and Holy Spirit's all over all of it. So God bless you all. I'll talk to you soon.